So Elijah is replaced. Let's finish up with the Lord said to him, Go return on your way. He gives him a to-do list, right? To the wilderness of Damascus. And when you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael. Hazael. How do you say that? Hazael? To be king Hazel. over... Hazy. <laughs> to be king over Syria. Jehu, the son of Nimshi, you shall appoint to be king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat of Abel, Mahola, you shall anoint to be prophet in your place. And the one who escapes from the sword of Hazel shall Jehu put to death. And the one who escapes from the sword of Jehu, Elisha, will put to death. Yet I will leave 7,000 in Israel. And all the knees have not bowed to Baal, and every mouth that has not kissed him. So here's the sixth lesson. Beware of being so task-focused that that's the only way you know how to interact with God. Cultivate presence. The opposite can be for those of you who are more relational. Sometimes these can struggle taking transformative action because you just want to sit around in His presence all day. But love is displayed in obedience. It's an emotion and an experience to be felt. Connection is cultivated and obedience is operated. Okay? Okay, well, let's. Well, I, I do have um, a couple things I need to say off camera. So, what we'll do is we'll um, pray. We'll pray over the uh, tithes and offerings this morning. But, do y'all have any other great things you want to add before we On his return. close up? Huh? On his return, uh -huh. every one of these people are critical. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, it's like we became a mess and got re regrouped. Yep. Re you know, like get your mind right. Yep. Turn around, go back as a man, yep. lift your head up. And these people are critical. Make sure you don't make any mistakes. And even though Elijah covered his face when it came to being in presence, I still think it's amazing God's kindness is he's going to let him finish his job. He gave him a to-do list. And he's going to send them out to appoint the people that need to take his don't place. Don't worry about that old threat because it's dead. Mm -hmm. Yep. It died. All right. Well, Father, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you that you are truth over any fact that we may be facing at this time. We also thank you, Father, that you are extremely and extraordinarily kind. Uh, you won't crush a bruised reed. You see the whys. You see the history. You see the things going on behind the scenes of decisions and perceptions that are made. And, and you treat us accordingly with your kindness and your desire to help us. My prayer, my request this morning is that we never cover our face when you're wanting to be intimate with us. That we never stay in a perception that creates separation between us and you or us and others. But instead, we're willing to take those covers off and be vulnerable. But also have wisdom and discretion. Recognize that some maybe are not ready for that vulnerability or maybe they're not ready for that intimacy that's fine but when it comes to you we will come to you with an unveiled face beholding you in your glory and allow you to transform us by what we see as you unveil yourself to us in new ways and so father help us be those people to others as well and help us to quit being so darn hard on ourselves i if i I would probably be shocked at the countless hours I know I've personally wasted being hard on myself when maybe you wanted to celebrate. So Father, help us to be a people of celebration. There's been several words that this is a year for you. And by you, not you, but us. That your attention is on us. And like uh, Colossians 4.4 in the mirror says, Paul made it his business revealing us to ourselves. Christ in you, the expectation of glory. So, Father, we want to focus where you're focusing in, and we ask you to help us do that. We want to give our tithes and offerings to you this morning. And so, Father, we ask that you and the Lord receive them. We give them with cheerfulness, with no sense of obligation, pressure, or manipulation. And we do it as loyalty to you, taking what the enemy wanted. We've earned it by your ability and we now give it back to you as a sign of loyalty and to consecrate and sanctify the other 90%. So we thank you for that, Father. We give you honor. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to bring...